Hello everybody, this is Robin 5 hood and welcome to Let's Play Savage XR. To tell you what is this game about, it's the best thing what you can do at the start is go straight to the tutorial. I know, I know, everyone is pro and want to play already, but no. It's good to start from the tutorials. We're not about to watch the humans, replay duos, and beast because you can do it by uh, your own. We will go now for a human tutorial. Of course, there's a voice who gonna tell you what to do, so we will follow his orders. Read his order and be polite. Welcome to Savage XR. This is the Human Legion tutorial. Yeah, thank you. You are in the loadout interface. Here you can select your unit and equipment. Please pick up a bow and press spawn. Oh my god, what is it? Where is the bow? Where is the... Oh, of course, hunting bow is he in there. If you can see, there is something like... The subscribe of the weapon. Normally, use it to hunt for food. This is the most basic weapon. Yeah. So we pick the bow. As my name is Robin, it means that my aim by hunting bow is that epic that you cannot even handle it. So, let's spawn. You can click on a stronghold on the minimap or just click spawn. You have spawned near the stronghold. Oh, thank you. Enemies will try to destroy it. <coughs> Make sure you defend it at all costs. Yeah, this is stronghold. First, let's get familiar with the interface. There is a chat panel, bottom left. Keep an eye on it to coordinate with your team. You can press Y to start chatting. The bottom right panel shows inventory and ammo, health status in red, experience in blue, stamina in cyan. There is a mini-map top left. It shows allies in green, squad mates in blue, enemies in red. And top right, you can find your team resources and stronghold health. Oh. Always listen to your commander. He will guide you with a beacon on the battlefield. Move here. Oh. Go to the beacon. If you can't see it, check the arrows at the top. Oh. Yeah, you can switch between weapons like one, two, three, four, five. You have only five spots. So it's not gonna be hard. It's, it's like... Oh, you can move like W E S D as always. Jump on the space. You cannot crouch apparently, but you can change your mode of shooting. You can shoot like this, and you can shoot also like this. Ah, you can switch between them as much as you can. So let's go to the spot where they order me to go, and we will get another mission. By mining resources killing enemies or building and repairing structures your commander wants to build an arsenal it cost 500 redstone to build so we need 50 more mine here yeah Go there's the redstone mine and press R to mine oh you can press R Move to this location but I recommend you Thank to you. do it by your mouse like left click button is attack and right click button is block so you can mine even faster if you get some skill if you have some skill yeah you mine like this one two three block one two three block one two three block and then you go really fast with it and with R it's really 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 long and boring because the last basic attack is pretty long. Okay, we got the stone for commander. Thank you. Excellent. We have just enough stone. Your commander will now build an arsenal. Move here. Go to the arsenal and press R to build it. Yeah, the same buildings <coughs> under construction have a transparent green look. Building and repairing helps you get experience fast. Yeah, it's the same trick with buildings. Of course, you can cool text. Yeah, I have hammers, but I prefer build like this, and I build faster. If you can see, it's faster. Simply, I prefer in free. Okay. 
Thank you. relies on your commander. He in turn relies on you to defend structures and supply resources. Keep redstone and gold coming to ensure your team's victory. Melee weapons are very important in close combat. They deal far more damage than ranged weapons like the bow. Legion units can block attacks while using their melee weapon. The block forms a 180 degrees arc in front of you. Try blocking with your hatchets by right-clicking. Yeah, this is what I said. I'm blocking! Yes. Practice your melee attacks and blocks on the Oscors. Yeah. You will earn experience by killing such critters. Remember to pick up the gold yeah. and ammo they leave behind. So ugly. Damn, so ugly. I can't even watch on them. We come from behind to them. Oh my god! Thank you. you sneaky bastard. You little sneaky bastard. Okay. Let's say, yeah, ooh. This is blocking. You know, you see how much the hit points I, I'm losing after blocking and now I lose a lot of them hit points when he hit me so it's better to block of course so you don't lose all of them okay I, I mr. 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 commander or mr. whatever Good job. yeah thank you Legion units are not as fast as beast units with melee weapons however they are very good with ranged weapons yeah, I'm very good. Oh. Try some target practice on those <coughs> chip rolls over there. Select your bow in the inventory with a mouse wheel or by pressing 2. Keep the attack button pressed to load an arrow. We're gonna cheat. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I wanted to shoot the ground. I wanted to do it. Yeah, the chiplers give you only 13 gold, so it's no way, no, no, no point to farm the chiplers. But if you like to kind of MMO, you can farm everything around there. It's really important to pick up the gold because sometimes, I mean sometimes, all the time your team will need that source, and there's no much things where you can get it. Using the bow efficiently takes some practice. Fortunately, your commander has now researched the crossbow. Move here. Go back to oh, your yeah. stronghold and enter it by pressing. Now pick up a crossbow and click the spawn button. The crossbow. You see, it's another weapon. It's Attack way here. better. Try but some target practice on the chip rolls with your crossbow. Unlike the bow, clicking the fire button releases the arrow immediately. Yeah. Thank you for a tip. I will remind that. Uh, there you go. Oh my God, my aim with a crossbow is not so good with uh, as a hunting bow. I did say. Why? Because Robin does not shoot a crossbow. I didn't saw a single movie where he do. Okay, let's finish them all. Yeah, such a rape. Oh my God, <laughs> no! <laughs> I didn't miss. You should now be Thank able you. to defend yourself. Yeah. The commander can build garrisons to expand into the battlefield. Garrisons act as forward supply stations and spawn points for your team. We have constructed a garrison. Your commander has built a garrison west of your stronghold. Go back to your stronghold, then spawn at the new garrison. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Commander. Now, as I said, you can press by on the signatures. You can press like this, yeah. Or you can just press spawn, and you have whole map. You can see now whole map and the spawn points like there and there. And I'm almost dead, by the way. So yeah, I spawn. What now? Oh my goodness! Ouch. Looks yeah, like ouch. Sniper was waiting for you. Don't worry. You uh, can respawn and pay him back. Uh, no I will. Oh my god, so many weapons. Commander has researched new magnetic weapons. Mm, thank Pick you. Pick up the coil rifle. It's the best weapon a sniper can have. Yeah. Then right. spawn again at the garrison. 
Yeah, I will. Oh, now there you are. Enemy sniper. Mm. Select the coil rifle and press Z to zoom. Yeah, I will zoom. I'm noob. I have to zoom. Hey, there you go. Come at me, bro. I will finish you off. You use you. Oh my God, you are angry. Oh my God, you are so angry. Well oh my. Oh, go. However, it is generally only available late in the game. There are 12 weapons your commander can research. Each has its benefits and drawbacks. To afford buying units, weapons and items, you need gold. You can mine gold or ask the commander for some when you're out. But the biggest amounts of gold come from killing enemies and neutral critters. Hey, thank you. If you need gold later on, Kill those monkeys over there. I will. I see them. One of the most popular weapons is the flux gun, constructed at the electric factory. Please go back to your garrison to pick one up. Your oh my commander God. has researched some extra items. Why not get a few med kits and an ammo pack? Just make sure to pick up that flux gun and a relocator. That the relocator is a must-have when going into battle. You drop a teleport device near a safe point and you can return to its location instantly. Select your relocator and place it near the garrison. Move here! Yeah. Great. Now proceed oh down goodness. the valley. How the relox works? Not everyone knows how to relox work. I put the relock in there, we can see. Now I choose the spot, number 5, and now I pressing the button and ta-da! I'm in the near to the garrison, but I lose my relocator, so I have to get new relocator, go back, press 5, place him, and go again, go somewhere like there, teleport, and I'm near to the garrison, so simple thing to do. Yeah. That's amazing. Commander, give me a lot of weapons. I mm, cannot test them right now, but you guys have to do it, and you will know what all this weapon and how they works. Like for example, this charger. We we are not shooting like this. We are loading it to full and then shooting. There is much much more weapons like uh, twelve, I guess. <clears throat> but uh, you will test it. Alone, I guess, somewhere on the server, on the monkeys. I'm gonna be such a dish box. Okay, we move in there. Mm. Ah, an ambush. Oh my god! Those scavengers with your flux gun before they kill you. Yeah, I will! Damn! No! No! Relock! Yeah! You think you killed me, but you ain't! Yes! So good. I will heal now a bit. Give me that gold. Big med kids. Relock and go forward, Mr. Robin. Go forward. I don't have any objective. Why? I will just go there. Able. Go there. In ambush. Capture the spawn flag. Excellent. Now carry on down the valley until you find a spawn flag. Yeah. Spawn flags offer a strategic advantage to your team. Holding control over flags can decide the outcome of battle. Great. Now one is there. No silly ambushes. Okay, let's get the flag. Now attack the flag with your hatchets to capture it. Yeah, I do it. There are reports of hidden enemies in this area. A great way to detect unseen threats is to use sensors. Watch. Where enemies? I will found them. I will it found them. Waste of time to go all the way back to the garrison. So it's time you use your relocator. You still have it, don't you? Maybe. How about I don't? Okay, I will. Now enter the garrison to pick. There are only 15 sensors for the whole team, so use them strategically. Now spawn at the flag you just captured. No. No. Now place the sensor near the beacon. 
Your commander will often draw strategic orders on the minimap, so make sure to check it regularly. Oh, you can hold only one sensor in a spot, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, we'll put it there. The yeah. Can you see red beacons on the battlefield and minimap? Mm. Oh Those my are goodness. the enemies detected mm. by the sensor. Mm. Quick, get them with your coil rifle. I don't have a coil coil rifle, you douchebag. Hey, I relock. Get a coil rifle. Relock. Spawn. Okay, where are the enemies? There is one, there is second, and there is third. Oh my god, I missed. Oh my god. Yeah, one, oh, two left, I mean, what the hell? Oh, my aim is so grateful! So good! Oh, my goodness, go away! Bitch. God damn. Yeah, I never was good at it. Well done. Thank now you. Let's check out some of the more <coughs> explosive items. Enter the new ga new item available. Your commander has researched the demolition pact. Let's try to take down the wall over there. It would take a good five minutes to do it with hatchets, but only a few seconds with a demolition pack. Are you oh, sure about yeah. it? Just move close to the enemy building, then drop your demolition pack. Yeah, he's sure about it. Now get away. Or the blast <gasps> get away. Will most likely kill you too. Demolition packs take about ten seconds to go off. BAM! Oh my Remember god. That enemies can okay. easily destroy demo packs. Always protect them just long enough to allow you to get away safely. New unit available. Click on the ballista in the top right panel. Then move here. Then spawn. Good. Now make your way down the pass to the enemy lair. Yeah, okay. This is the first siege weapon. It's really strong, but not always allowed to use them. You will have to read all the bunch of blue rules, but it's boring, so at the beginning you're supposed to not care about it at all. There is the, oh my god, the buildings of the enemy. There's this one spire, two spires, three spires, spire. What is the spire? This is a great spot from which to destroy those spires. Quickly, do it before the enemy notices your presence. Yeah, right. Spire is some kind of a tower, I do say. If I shot it, it's shooting me back, what is really evil. So I kill it. The enemy structure. And there. And there. The Building construction. Oh my god. Uh oh, looks like you got their attention. Now press X to hop out of the ballista. I don't want to. Return to the garrison, pressing shift to run. I will kill that one. No, don't hide. You son Looks of a like your commander no. improved your outpost Fuck. Let's see how the behemoths like that. Oh my god. <laughs> are the largest siege unit the beast hordes can throw at you. Fighting them one on one would be suicide. Is it? I almost they killed one. Dispatched using siege weapons as a team. Just don't forget to keep your distance from that tree trunk. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead, ugly big monster. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there is a second one. Yeah, finish him off. Looks like that was the last of them. Your commander has now researched the catapult. Go back to the garrison and pick one up. Oh, you can go straight by Behemoth, by the way. Haha! <laughs> I'm his, his stomach! Hello, stomach! But you see nothing in there. Oh my god, he's gone. Damn it. Catapults are the strongest. Uh, I will just no, use it and finish this. And attack the enemy lair. Yeah, I will. I will. Don't worry. I'm about to. I will finish them off. Like a you boss. You now know the basics of playing with a Legion team. But it's always good to know your enemy's weaknesses. So be sure to check out the Beast Team tutorial. You'll be a step closer to holding your own on the battlefield. Yeah, thank you. I will soon. I mean, as soon as I can. So let's kill it. Let's kill the lair. Like this. Oh, it's not full damage. 
Oh my god, it's still not full damage. You... Ah. Cut! Ah. Now it's gonna be... Yes! Now it's a full damage. Full damage to the lair. Yeah, come on. Win! Hooray! I won f my first match in this game! And there you have the uh, awards! The most important awards, of course, you have on the top. So the most important one is Homework. Then Sadist, then Opal Basher. Unbreakable. Siege Hunter. Most violent downsizer. Survivor Hero. I don't know why Survivor is there, but never mind. I would like to put Capitalist there and Survivor there, but... Mm, never mind. I just say... What else is there? And... Yeah, you earn gold, veteran that... Your experience in there is blue. I is 426 and there you have 30, 25 and so on and so on. You have to have the most numbers of experience to get this one. Teacher pet, you follow all the orders from your officers and commander. Best miner, I didn't mind too much. So above the builder, if you build a lot of buildings. Flurry bunny, if you jump a lot. Biggest the memoir pegathon. Yeah, you c just have to kill a lot of NPCs around the map. So you can get it. And when you are doing that, it's really easy to then get earning money. You can earn money and killing monkeys is pretty the same. <clears throat> Biggest spender, it's a really bad award. You are spending a lot of gold. For example, I spend only 18,100 gold. That's really bad. But I earned 41,491 gold. So, everything is fine. I give more than I spend, so it's good. I do say it's all for today, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, I wish you a nice night, and see you in the next round.